morning thanks for joining me i hope everybody's well welcome to my kitchen just thinking i hope it's tidy behind me i don't think it is particularly <laughs> but you just have to take me as you find me today it's been a week it has been a week here been a couple of weeks actually if i'm honest anyway today i'm doing a cooking video it feels like the longest time since i've done a cooking video it might even be as far back as lockdown which is <laughs> four years three years probably since uh, yeah three years I think since um, I last did a cooking video so um, looking forward to doing this one today's video is a collaboration with two other youtubers my friend Kirsten from Kirsten's Curiosity Curiosities sorry <laughs> I mispronounced that and um, Karen from the Geordie Grandma um, you may already know their channels if you don't do go over and um, visit them I'm going to put links to their videos in the description box below here so you can click through after you finish watching me and go and watch their videos each of us has picked a vegetable and we are going to cook that vegetable in three different ways in three different recipes um, mine is cauliflower I think Karen has picked butternut squash and I think Kirsten's picked carrots don't quote me on that it's a while since we decided but I, th I think I'm right on that um I love cauliflower it's one of my favorite vegetables it is in season at the moment and uh, I'm very much looking forward to sharing my three recipes with you I've got a really nice wintry soup for you I've got a um, really nice healthy lunch idea and I'm not going to say really nice again for the third one <laughs> I've got a roasted cauliflower mac and cheese which I'm very excited to make because it's proper winter comfort food all that being said let's get into the video i hope you enjoy the recipe so today's recipe is a cauliflower cheese soup it's a thermomix recipe which i cook in my thermomix um, for anybody who doesn't know about this i've talked about it a couple of times before i bought it last year it's a really quite expensive piece of kitchen kit and so far I'm on the, it's very clever, it chops, it weighs, it cooks, it really does make the cooking process of things super, super easy. It steams, it sautés, it does all of the things and uh, you've got, it connects to the internet and you've got your little screen down here. This is what we are cooking today. Um, and it does make cooking a bit of a breeze to be honest. It's, uh, it doesn't need you to watch over it or stir it or any of that stuff so it is good. Um, as I said I'm still somewhat on the fence as to whether it was worth the money I paid for it. Um, they, they do really hold their value well so I can sell it at any point if I decide to do so but as I said today's recipe is a cauliflower cheese soup. What attracted me to it was it's really simple in terms of ingredients. This is what we are using today. We've got salt and pepper, cauliflower. It wants a dried bay leaf, but a bay leaf even, not a bay leaf. That's something completely different. Um, I've only got one off the bay tree outside, so we'll have to do um, a garlic clove, an onion, some vegetable stock, some milk, and some cheddar cheese. So I click on this, which I've already selected and we click on start cooking and the little screen takes us through what we need to do um, step by step. You can see up here there are 23 steps and um, the first step is to add 20 grams of olive oil. So the next step is to add 200 grams of quartered onions. So we've got the olive oil and the quartered onions in there. We then click on next and it says to add one garlic clove. When it does chopping, it very often tells you after it's chopped the first time to scrape down the sides with the spatula and then it will take you into the next chopping sequence. Next step is four minutes. It's going to be sauteing those onions, so I will leave it and come back after four minutes to see how we're getting on. Right, onion is sauteed. And the next step, let me zero the scales again, is to add 750 grams of the cauliflower. So I'm just gonna trim the leaves off and chop it into chunks. Okay, so my whole cauliflower was only 540 grams. 
um, I've put the stalks in as well um, but I did have 20 grams extra of onion so it's probably around 180 grams short so I'm just going to adjust when it comes to the liquid part of it I'm just going to adjust a little bit the next step is to add the liquid vegetable stock it says 600 grams however I have adjusted to 450 mils which should be the same as grams let's just pop that in there not quite we need a little bit more so i'm going to go make it up to 450 grams we are up to 455 next step is sea salt and some pepper so i'm just going to pop those in okay we need to we've done another chopping cycle another five second chop cycle that's what it looks like now and we need to add the dried bay leaf which is actually a fresh bay leaf but never mind and then lid back on like so and then 15 minutes by the looks of it so i'll go off and keep myself busy for 15 minutes and i'll see you after right that. it's cooked for 15 minutes and next instruction is to remove the bay leaf definitely feeling like we need more liquid in there although it has still got milk to go in at the moment 100 grams of milk has been added and the next one is add 100 grams of cheddar cheese cut into pieces Number six. This is the final blend, I think. And here is the final soup. It says, serve hot with 10 grams of fresh chives, finely chopped and extra grated cheddar sprinkled over the top. That's what it looks like. Oh, come on, focus. I'm going to pop you in the cupboard momentarily while I give it a taste um, I'm not actually going to eat it today so I'm probably going to pop a little picture in of what it looks like when I do eat it because I'm just making this for the freezer today because I'm going away tomorrow not quite as cheesy as I was expecting oh actually maybe it is yeah you get the cheese on the aftertaste that, that's really nice it tastes really creamy as though there's cream in it that would be super easy to make yourself without a thermo mix as well as long as you've got a hand blender to blend it with um, and minimal ingredients as well not loads of different herbs and spices which you may not have so quite a good one to make i feel like i got the um proportions right as far as the liquid went as well reducing that a little bit was definitely the way it's time for recipe number two and today's recipe is let me turn you around this one is from olive magazine and it is bang bang cauliflower and i make it for my lunch it looks absolutely delicious so i'm hoping it's going to end up looking like that this is what we need we have a cauliflower the world's smallest cauliflower in fact um, some milk, the recipe says plant-based milk, but I don't deal with that nonsense. Um, no offence to anybody who drinks plant-based milk, it's just not my thing. Um, oregano, smoked paprika, garlic granules, um, cooking spray, plain flour, lime juice, a spring onion, some sesame seeds, and some panko breadcrumbs. And then in addition, we have, oh, the lime juice actually, these four items are for the sauce that goes over the top. We've got honey, Seen better days, um, sriracha sauce, sweet chilli sauce and the lime juice. So the recipe is for four people but I am halving it um, because I'm only doing it for my lunch so whatever's left over I will have tomorrow. You start off by mixing the flour, smoked paprika, seasoning, oregano and garlic granules and slowly whisk in the milk to make, what does it say, a smooth thin batter. Right, I wouldn't say that's a particularly thin batter, so I am going to take it upon myself to add some more milk. Right, so we've got cauliflower florets, bite-sized pieces, it said. I would say they're pretty much bite-sized pieces. We've got the batter, which is now a lot thinner. I mixed it with milk and a bit more water. Panko breadcrumbs and a lined baking sheet to pop them onto. So basically you dip each one into here, into here, and pop them onto the baking sheet. Right, that was all fairly easy. Um, I have then sprayed them with the spray or olive oil spray oil and they then go into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes and I've got to toss them halfway. While the cauliflower's in the oven, 
I have mixed lime juice, honey, sweet chilli and garlic and sriracha and I'm going to gently warm that to melt all the ingredients together. Okay, this is the cauliflower just out of the oven. You can see it's quite crispy and nice. It hasn't got loads of colour, but it's been in for five minutes longer than the time and I don't want the cauliflower itself to dry out, so I've taken it out. Now I'm going to assemble the dish. The sauce goes over the top and then a little bit of spring onion and some sesame seeds. And here we have a delicious, healthy looking lunch. Um, I think it's quite low calorie as well. Okay, time for a taste test. This looks really nice. That's really nice. I think, when I look back at the recipe, it didn't, um, you put the sauce on after it comes out of the oven. I feel like the sauce has slightly softened the breadcrumbs. Um, I think I would push it on and then cook for another five minutes just to crisp it back up again. The sauce is really spicy which is great for me. Um, I would add more honey and lime juice and less sriracha if you like it a little bit less spicy, but that's really delicious. The cauliflower's still got a bit of crunch in it and texture and um, yeah, really tasty. Welcome back to recipe number three. And today's recipe is, let me just turn you around. It is roasted cauliflower mac and cheese. That's what it's supposed to look like. And it's from this book by Amy Shepherd that I got for Christmas called Hob. It's a stovetop recipe, so no oven required. So um, I haven't cooked it before. I'm looking forward to trying it. Um, it's nice, simple store cupboard ingredients. In fact, this whole book seems to be like that. This is what we need. I'm, I've actually halved the recipe. Um, it's fit, the recipe is for four people. I have halved it, so I'm doing it for two people. We've got 100 grams of grated cheese. You can use any hard cheese, really. We had friends around for dinner on Saturday and I had a cheese board, so I've got a couple of bits of leftover cheeses from that, which I've just grated up. Um, I've got 300 grams, no, that's 150 grams, sorry, of macaroni. Got um, some streaky bacon. I need four rashers of that. I've got some chili powder. I've got 150 grams of cauliflower cut into florets. I've got um, 50 grams, I think, is that 50 grams? No, it's 25 grams of butter, 25 grams of flour, and 400 grams of whole milk. So the first need, thing we need to do is get a little bit, little bit of oil in a pan going and get four streaky bacon rashers on to cook. Right, I'm cooking the bacon until it's crispy in this pan, and then I'm going to take it out and put it to one side. The bacon is turned into a sort of crumb for decorating the top in this recipe and then we use the fat left over from it to cook the cauliflower in. I've now put the cauliflower in to cook and to get some colour on it. It says to, it doesn't matter if it chars, so you want some colour getting onto it. Um, I haven't cut my cauliflower florets too small because I don't want them breaking up. You can overcook cauliflower really easily and I don't want them to break up too much. So I've tried to keep them a fairly reasonable size for a bit of texture. Okay, once you have got some colour on the cauliflower, you add your butter in, and wait for it to melt, then add your flour, that's where I'm at at the moment, and now I'm gradually going to add my milk until I've got a nice smooth roux and whisk it. Oops, misread the recipe, should have removed the cauliflower from the pan before I started making the sauce. Never mind, I've done it now, I've set it aside there. I've got the sauce in here, I've thickened it, and um, it's looking good. I now need to add 250 mils of water, a pinch of chilli powder, the macaroni, and some salt and pepper for seasoning. And then we pop the lid on and put it onto the lowest heat for 10 minutes. I've just um, whisked the bacon up into crumb sizes. That is literally just for topping now. So we've got the lid on the pan, macaroni's in there with seasoning and salt, um, chilli powder. Um, I've just got to leave that, stirring it a couple of times for 10 minutes and then we're going to add this cauliflower back in and cook for another 10 minutes again, stirring a couple of times in between and at that point we add the cheese. And here is what it looks like. It's melted, the cheese is melted in now. Um, it smells absolutely amazing. I'm just going to, I also added some cherry tomatoes which I had that needed using up 
always quite enjoyed tomatoes and mac and cheese. Anyway, I'm going to plate up and see what it's like. And here is the final article. That looks delicious. It smells delicious and I cannot wait to eat it for my lunch. I can confirm that the roasted cauliflower mac and cheese was absolutely delicious. Do excuse my dishwasher in the background if you can hear. Right, that brings us to the end of today's Three Ways with Cauliflower video. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, do go over and watch the other girls' videos as well. They will, of course, be linked in the description box below. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.